We're in today with the HD 7970. This is not the R9 200 series, actually the R9 280X. It's uh, literally 7970, but the drivers shows it as an R9. The, the HD 7970 model that I have is this one because the one that I have has 1050 on the GPU core, memory 1500, 1400 actually, I don't know why. I'm guessing because of the drivers, who knows? Maybe, <laughs> maybe it was modded and it was uh, unlocked. Who knows? But nevertheless, it looks like this. Maybe it's this one with nine, 925 on the core. But nevertheless, we're gonna pair it up with this uh, i7 9 gen and we're gonna see how it's running and uh, we're gonna have some fun. Now, on the GPU side, uh, this GPU, it's quite uh, powerful, if you're asking me. It's got three gig of VRAM. Uh, 384 bits bus width, DirectX 11.1, 2048 shaders, and it was released in 2013. Now, it sounds good because we already played with um, R9 280X. We did try it in Crossfire and it was a fantastic experience, you know, because uh, barely managed to find some games that actually work. But whenever, let's jump in and see how this uh, video card is running in 2023. All right, let's try Fortnite and see how it's doing with the performance mode on 1080p. I think it's going to do fantastic. All right, we're in the air. Oh, my God. So about the GPU, yes. Before we played with the um, R9280X and on the name, it was saying R9280X slash HD7970. So the 7970 was as a, as a second name. Now it says HD7970 slash R9280X. So that is the only difference. Plus on the back of the video card, it says 7970. And the previous one that we played, it had in sticker, even on the how shall I say, the back plate, it says R9280X. But nevertheless, they are similar and the only thing we need to see is how it's performing, you know? See some core load, VRAM, how it's holding, is there a difference? 100% sure they are nearly the same, you know? But I got this one cheap. It, I bought it under 10 pounds, you know? It was smashed, the radiator, the fans, everything was squashed together. I open it up, I bend it back and I plug it in and it was working and <laughs> I can't say nothing 10 quid of a GPU or less uh, it's, it's not something that I will say no you know very lucky with this video card but I'm grateful not grateful very grateful to have it so we are going to enjoy it have some fun and uh, yeah we're gonna go we're gonna put it to good use it's doing a fantastic job when it comes to the FPS I got a really nice uh, FPS on average and I'm really enjoying the game like this. If the only problem is the minimals. I don't know why the minimals it, it's 11, but uh, hopefully it will uh, go a little higher the more I play the game. Now, 120 FPS on average with uh, maximum on 170 or something like this. And it's, it's quite fantastic, the performance from this video card. When it comes to VRAM, it's got 1.3 gig of VRAM used. It's not bad, you know, in uh, in performance mode, but I'm 100% sure other games will uh, fail uh, to uh, be this efficient. When it comes to the CPU, I got like 56 60 watts consumption from the CPU with 60% uh, load. It's quite good, you know, and 7.9 gig of system RAM. Very nice efficiency from the CPU and hopefully we're gonna get uh, similar with uh, other games. It's, it's a fantastic GPU that I think it needs more attention. Seriously. Let's jump into GTA 5 and see how it's running. I think it's... Uh, important to see how the GPU is working on its best. So I think on 1080p uh, with DirectX 11, it will be ideal to benefit from this video card. I think that if I put it on DirectX uh, 11 and try to max it out, I will reach the peak of VRAM and it will uh, do some nasty lagging or uh, frame high frame time. And I don't want that. I just want uh, high performance from this video card. And I think with DirectX 10 on 1080p on low de normal details, it will be fantastic for the GPU. Okay, we're in GTA Online. Let's see how it's running. Apparently, I uh, I don't like how it looked because I, I'm missing anti-aliasing. 
So let me let me put this on advanced graphics. Oh yes, but this is needs to be off frame scale, off fun. And on uh, the graphics, we're gonna activate this one, and it will make it mega sharp. Fantastic! Now it looks it looks great. Everything is sharp. Doesn't impact the performance. Apparently, we are getting uh, nearly 100 FPS and 90 FPS, in, and it's good. I want to benefit from this video card by uh, playing GTA line online with a lot of FPS. So in our case, we're gonna get what 94 FPS. Can't wait to see the minima in one percent. Apparently, we're getting there with 30 FPS on minimal and 78 on uh, one percent. Actually, 40. 46 on one percent on minimal so one percent i got 76 and uh, minimal 46 ah this is fantastic so the the okay the system is helping you know the cpu is helping i'm on 60 percent load on the on the cpu and uh, i'm eating around 60 watts i understand that i understand you need a proper cpu for this but uh, it does show you that uh, all the gpu are still valid in our cases i managed to stabilize around 55 uh, fps on minimal 45 actually and 72 on one percent this is a good number 2.4 gig of vram it's used in um, uh, from this video card and on low details it's quite fantastic you know the temperature is good 64 degrees with 1800 uh, rpm on the fan and i think that's an ideal situation because the the fins on this video card it's they are huge you understand okay let's see how it's running in the casino you can spin out the wheel yeah boy okay so in the casino i got around uh, 70 uh, fps on average and uh, not a good minimal let's see hopefully we'll get uh, a different uh, number when it comes to <laughs> minimal say one percent those are numbers are not, are not okay you know so let's see can we spin please no t-shirt no t-shirt please no t-shirt give me the car when was the last time you gave me the car oh fifty thousand dollars damn son that's even better i lost my car money Let's jump into cross out. Apparently, this game it's um, it's just started to regrow back on me. Cross out because it's it's one of those games that allows me to be uh, uh, allows me to play it on a couple of uh, older GPUs and actually makes it really good. Makes it really entertaining. So I uh, put it on uh, non legacy GPU. I disable legacy GPU and everything it's on max detail 1080p 100% render scale and let's jump in all right oh my god it looks so fantastic seriously when i'm when i'm looking at the game seriously holy smokes so i got uh, 2400 rpm on the gpu apparently it's on 73 degrees this is not okay because i got only 84 fps now 84 fps it's okay and uh, 65 on uh, minimals with 75 on one percent those are good numbers those are not rookie numbers you know i actually got two uh, memory errors but i think i think that's uh, some somewhere even in gta 5 i've seen it but nevertheless i managed to reach uh, max uh, vram on this video card and uh, yeah i'm very proud i'm actually very proud on this oh no i'm alone Oh, God damn it, I will die. Are you f no! Damn. Broken in pieces and I still managed to kill somebody. <laughs> oh my God, I can, I can barely move with this. But nevertheless... I really appreciate how it's performing. Uh, uh, uh. Not the tank, the computer. It's crooked. Sliding in one wheel. <laughs> Victory, yes! Thank you, Crossout, for validating our GPU. Damn, that was horrible. Let's jump into World of Warships and see how it's performing. I want to put this on uh, medium details. I think it's on similar with uh, World of Tanks, yes? Do I have to restart it? I don't have to restart the whole thing. Medium details. Oh my god, it looks cool. We are in World of Warships with uh, medium details. I'm getting hundreds of FPS here and I'm very, um, how should I say, 
grateful for this. Let's see how we, we can manage to snap somebody if we can. I don't think he's gonna pass. Let's see, can we manage to hit him? Nothing. So on medium details, apparently, we are getting 140 FPS on average. This is a good number for uh, uh, for this video card. 69 on minimal, same 1%, 129. Good numbers, if you are asking me. But uh, I really, I really appreciate the temperature that is not, theoretically, is not burning the whole GPU completely. But 2500... Uh, uh, RPM it's keeping the video card on 75 hopefully it doesn't reach 80 degrees with this 1.4 gig of VRAM it's it's ideal because it shows me that I can increase the details but the problem is it's the core and uh, theoretically I should put more um, RPM in uh, how should I say it's uh, more RPM on the, on the fans in order to be cooled It's a bit slower than World of Tanks, but I, I really like uh, the idea of free games. So when it comes to World of Warships, uh, World of Tanks, Crossout, they're all fantastic in my book. And if I manage to play with older video cards and stuff like that, then then that's it. My jam. Let's test World of Tanks because World of Ships and now World of Tanks. I'm gonna see what uh, settings I have here. I have medium details with 100% render scale from last time. Everything is on medium details and we're gonna jump in like this and see how it's running. I'm getting a lot of FPS and I really love how it's working. Now, 150 FPS on average, 70 on minimal and 102 on 1%. This is exactly out of the barrel, you know, how we started the game. Now, the only problem I have is the core. It's 99% loaded, 9, 68, 69 uh, degrees on the GPU. It's mega loaded, the core, and it's overheating. I put the fan on 3200 RPM to see if it's uh, doing any justice. And apparently it's holding there. It's holding with uh, 68, 69. Nevertheless, uh, this is exactly, exactly what I, I'm expecting from a video card like this. 1.9 gig of VRAM, this is good. GPU memory errors, three. Why do I have three, three errors now? Damn. Okay, okay, I, I see you, I see you. HD 7970. Nevertheless, I'm really enjoying this uh, uh, video card in, in World of Tanks. Apparently, I got more uh, minimals 75 on minimals and 97 on 1%. The CPU doesn't uh, doesn't get stressed in this game apparently with uh, 45 watts uh, running on 40. What the? Yeah. Oh, 719 damage. You have to be brave and rush him. <laughs> it took me. Uh, it, it, it took. Half of my HP. You got full HP. Come on, go. Sacrifice yours. Let's see how it's running in Call of Duty. We are with uh, minimal that is 50% uh, render scale, no upscale. And on display, we got no dynamic resolution. So 1080p and uh, let's see how the game is performing with this video card. All right, I'm in the air. This is interesting because uh, I got some very questionable FPS. So why I'm uh, still able to play with this video card, even though it's so old. Second, the VRAM, why is it not fully loaded? Three, why do I have so many FPS on average in the air? This is interesting, seriously. I'm not joking. This is an interesting performance from a video card like this. All right, I got playable FPS. Oh my God, this is so cool, seriously, to see this video card perform like this. I'm actually in entertained about this uh, video card and how it's running with this uh, game. I don't believe that I'm seeing what... I don't believe it, seriously. I, I don't believe it. 80 FPS on average from a video card so old. This is insane. I think something is, is wrong with this. But nevertheless, I, I'll take it. I'll take the performance and I'm, I'm going to see how it's running uh, on average. 
apparently 70 fps it's the number that we are getting from this video card and it's not a joke seriously 26 on minimals 31 on one percent those are really good numbers i think i even have the opportunity to um, increase the render scale but uh, depending how much uh, the cpu on the other hand for the first time i'm seeing in word zone it's reaching 100 watts so you can clearly see between 60 and 90 percent it's loaded 62 degrees it's the temperature on the cpu you can see that for the first time in this game it's actually doing something on the gpu side apparently we are getting 2.6 gig of vram used you can clearly see it's a bit choppy you know and the details are not on point because of the that render scale but uh, you can still play the game if you want to adjust it even better i think it will be ideal because uh, if uh, how should i say make your own detail make your own preset maybe a lower resolution with more render scale in order to get those uh, how should i say those details in depending actually the monitor because if you if you got a bigger monitor then i think you need bigger render scale it will look really horrible let's try harry plonker Let's see how this game is performing. I want to see what settings I have because I think there is a possibility that we can actually play the game. FSR 2 Ultra Performance. Actually, let's uh, disable this and put uh, render scale to 66%. I'm going to keep it like this. Uncap everything is off. Field of view. Perfect. I'm going to put everything on low details and nothing. Nada. How are we doing 70 fps no 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 don't 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 tease me like this man please don't tease me i'm not gonna lie it's uh, one of those gpus that just works even after so many years on 1080p with 66 percent render scale apparently we are able to play the game and have a lot of uh, fps now in some cases like this apparently it drops to 20 30 fps but in chambers like closed rooms you can actually have decent fps i don't know why it's dropping now to 20 30 fps i was actually scared that the game will actually work on this but nevertheless let's see how we are doing uh on average if we go around and see the the castle you know the school and maybe we can uh, see how it's performing oh yeah this is it 21 fps so it's bananas actually <laughs> uh no all right this is cool 30 fps apparently after getting so many fps on low details apparently we are not in a good position seriously <laughs> with this video card See that? That's the door we need to reach. there is nothing i can say about this video card the overall the video card is quite fantastic um like the 3 gig of vram that is uh coming with this video card because apparently if you select the right games you can actually have a lot of uh, fun with this video card considering that those uh, 3 gig of vram it's uh, insufficient theoretically today but uh, if i may say i think uh, i think it's it's uh, it's enough you just have to select the right games for this and it will be okay but that 384 bits bus with it's helping i'm not gonna lie now age wise 2013 this is an old video card but if you if you're changing your gaming style and you want to accommodate a video card like this in your life i think this is a, a quite fantastic video card even as a spare one it's ideal <laughs> nevertheless i really like how this video card is working and i really wish you can uh, put your hands on one of this but if you only wanted to see how the video card is working it runs really nice